Right, hi lads and lasses, and welcome to Darts Coaching with Dynamite Dave. This is today's Play Better Darts. So, hopefully, might get you a little bit more smooth in your action and what have you, and hopefully get you playing darts a little bit better, even if you're not doing it in the Dynamite Dave way. You might be able to pick some tips up here that make a massive difference to you, because that's how the Dynamite Dave way works, and it's what gets a grip of people. They try one or two elements of it and find out what difference it makes to the way that they play darts, and it just, they just think, oh right, I'll use this bit and then another bit and another bit and they end up with the whole Dynamite Dave way and it just works fantastic as, as an actual full system. Right, so what we're going to talk about today is the smoothness of arm action. So we've seen a lot of people like Richie Burnett, um, Dave Chisnell, Jockey Wilson in the old days, but don't forget these people are one in a million and another thing that you will notice is that the here today, gone tomorrow. Not so much Jockey Wilson because in his day there wasn't the same amount of professionals that play at the sort of level that they do today. So it's just a prog literally a progression of time. But when we're going back to Richie Burnett, we're going back to Hendo, we're going back to Dave Chisnell. Inconsistent throws, which are snatchy and what have you. Fantastic. Dave Chisnell, yeah, one of the biggest 180ers in the world. But does one match or goes two or three matches into a tournament and then just doesn't turn up. So And that's what happens is because it is so difficult to manipulate your brain you think about the amount of computing power inside your head it takes to get all those 10 or 15 20 25 30 elements of your throw if it's all snatchy and wiggly wobbly all those elements that you've got to get absolutely pin perfect every time to throw a 180 or to get the dart into double 16 double 10 double 15 wherever it is you're going to first or second dart then that's the difference well, you get a nice smooth throw the thing is more controllable. You're still going to get the odd snatch dart. I do it. I do the odd what I call a Jockey Wilson. Where you're going to throw the dart and you're not releasing it at the right time because you, something's happened. You, you, a thought has come into your head at the, the wrong second. And instead of your arm opening, you, you instead of your hand opening, you, you, it doesn't. And you've got to throw the shoulder into it to try and get the dart anywhere near where you want it to go. Everybody does that. And no matter how good you are, or how long you practice this, or any type of throwing a dart, you're going to get one of them every now and again. Same with um, dropping a dart on the floor, you're going to get one of them. It's just, a, it's just a part, a fact of life when you're playing darts. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do you a demonstration of a snatchy throw, and then I'm going to do you a demonstration of a dynamite Dave throw. We've got the board cam on, and we've also got the side cam on there, so you can actually see the arm action. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go for a Jockey Wilson type throw. That is a Jockey Will City type throw. And then what we'll do is we'll try a Dynamite Dave throw and see the difference in the smoothness and hopefully where the darts go. And see how simple, how smooth and how controlled that is. Alright, the darts are not world class but I'm doing a piece to camera so they're not going to be. So again, the Jockey Wilson style. And you can see where they go all over the place, especially if I, if I try and fetch it in front of my eye. And again, the Dynamite Dave way. how simple and how easy that is no stress in it whatsoever dead dead simple way of throwing and really really effective I think it is if you if you can throw like that playing in the pub you're gonna win most games aren't you so last and final time and what we'll do is again like we did yesterday we'll slow this one right down so the jockey Wilson And now the Dynamite Dave. A 
Is it? It is an all. It is an all. Um, absolutely 100% live one there. As I'm thinking from three angles, 180. Absolutely effortless. Absolutely effortless. So, there you go lads and lasses. That's the advantage that you get with a smooth throw. You saw that, it was absolutely effortless. Absolutely controlled. Absolutely repeatable and so, so easy to repair when it goes wrong. Right, so that's today's Play Better Darts. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it informative as well as, in, as entertaining. Oh dear! I'm still leaving this in life. I'm still leaving it in life. Uh, don't forget, you only ever get out of this game what you're prepared to put in, lads and lasses. And always, 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 talk to the hockey.